Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at these controllers I picked up on Amazon. You can see I got a two-pack here and they are to play Nintendo 64 games. They have a USB port so it can plug into, uh, for me I'm using it on Windows 10 on a mini PC and it's just plug and play. You plug it in, it automatically installs, assigns all the buttons correctly and you're ready to go. In my setup I'm using Launchpad with RetroArch and we're going to put on a game and show you them working here in one second but it is just like the original work really well feels nice and solid now the rumble pack portion is not functional so you don't get that uh, bit of activity out of it you got the button back here and just a nice basic remote now one thing about the cord is it's only five and a half feet long for me, that's just fine, but you may need more cord length, but you can get USB extension cords if you needed a longer run. Let's test it out. And you can see with my setup, I have my mini PC mounted directly to the back of a TV, and that USB right there is our controller. I have Mario set up, and you can see, works great, no lag or anything. I don't know what all the buttons do, but you get the idea that things are happening. Now I will say, when I plugged this in, the computer itself recognized the controller right away, but it didn't work immediately with RetroArch. So you have to map the buttons, and let me show you that process real quick. So you'll definitely be able to get this working with your setup. So you're going to have to open up RetroArch, go to Settings, go to Input, Scroll down to where it says port 1 controls and then here's where you're going to set up all the buttons. Now you're not going to use all of them. Most of it is self-explanatory but not all of it. So what you do is you'll click on each individual line and then hit that button on your remote to assign it. So you'll have to do the D-pad which is this right here. So you'll do D-pad up, right, down, and left. But you see those right there. You're going to do the B button, which on your remote is actually A. You're going to do the Y button, which on your remote is actually B, the green one there. The start button is the same as your start red button in the middle. Your shoulder buttons, L and R. You'll have L and R. Next you need to do the L2 trigger and that is the Z button on the back of the remote. Next you're going to do left analog, up, down, left, and right. And that's your joystick right in the middle here. Up, down, left, right. Then your right analog is the yellow buttons over here. So up, down, left, right. And then when you're done, you'll just go to the bottom, click OK, and you'll be all ready to go. Your N64 remote will work just as you saw in the game here. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching.